the Hillside Hawks. Good to see everybody virtually. I'm Mark Hunger, the assistant principal here at Hillside, and we want to welcome back uh, all of our sixth graders, and we want to welcome our new students and our fifth graders to Hillside School and to our school year 2020-2021. We're creating this video in the hopes of giving you some information uh, since we missed our spring orientation and hoping to have you understand a little bit more about uh, how our school year is starting and uh, we're super excited to have you and so with that I want to introduce to you our principal Mr. William Fair. Hello everyone hello welcome back sixth grade and fifth grade it's nice to meet all of you virtually um, and welcome to our, our new students as well so uh, we're looking forward to everyone starting the school year and very quickly I wanted to cover with you our school motto so now sixth graders, we know you know the school motto. And fifth grade, we're guessing that a couple of the primary schools that are coming into Hillside are also using our motto because we heard that they are. And our motto is work hard and be kind. So we know if you can do these two things, work hard and be kind, that you'll be extremely successful here at Hillside School. So briefly, what does it mean to work hard? So work hard is listening to your teachers, it is doing your homework. Working hard is asking questions. Working hard is doing everything you need to do to be present during the instruction at the time and also doing the work you need to do outside of the, uh, the computer time as well. And be kind, what does that mean? So be kind, as you all know, is to do the best you can to be the nicest person you can possibly be to your classmates, to your teachers, and of course to your own families at home. So once again, we welcome you and we look forward to showing you briefly around Hillside School. Greetings Hawks, I'm here in a fifth grade classroom and right now we want to talk to you a little bit about our expectations for students as we start virtually this school year. Uh, so we ended virtually last year. Uh, this is the first school year that you'd be starting uh, virtual and we want to talk a little bit about our expectations for, uh, for our students in September and uh, the beginning of October, all right, because this is so new for, for all of us. So soon you'll be receiving uh, a schedule and your schedule is going to have uh, eight periods similar to what we have in, an, in a normal school year if we were all here in person. So those eight periods will consist of a combination of your content classes, right, that you have every day, and then uh, related arts classes, which you'll have once or twice a week. And then also a break uh, built in as well. So each day you'll have eight periods from 8.30 to one o'clock. And our first expectation, of course, is for all students is to attend every day from 8.30 to 1 o'clock. All of your classes in order. Your teachers will go over this the first day of school. Um, and you need to use the agenda that you received when you picked up your materials. You may need to use your, your phone or an alarm clock at home to, to make sure that you remember uh, to log on and to get online and, and what, what is which day, which period. Um, and uh, your teachers will help you with that. But we're gonna ask first and foremost that you're present for all of your classes. All right, and sometimes that means a Google Meet, other times that means a submission of work, um, other times it means independent work, that, the things that you're still working on or studying. All right, uh, our second uh, expectation is to be, uh, to actively participate in your learning. 
that you're not passively just sitting at the computer, but that you're uh, asking questions, right? Whether it's uh, through an email, through a Google chat on the side to your teachers, uh, through a project that uh, multiple students are working on and that you're uh, doing your, your part of the, of the Google slide project. Uh, but we ask that you actively participate in your learning by asking questions, reaching out for help when you need it, uh, and so forth. Uh, we're also going to, uh, speaking of that, again, when things get tough, and like with any learning, sometimes there's going to be things that are new, there's going to be some things where you're, you're, you're not in your comfort zone, uh, then you need to reach out. And you can reach out to um, all of us here at Hillside, any of us here, any of your teachers, your counselor, uh, uh, family members, but please reach out. Uh, obviously, we know as educators that the longer you go trying to struggle on your own with something, uh, the deeper um, uh, the frustration can be. So please reach out, and that is your responsibility, and we hope and we'll be doing our part, but we need you, again, to be, to, uh, uh, be present, to uh, actively participate, and to reach out with questions and concerns that you have. Uh, speaking of virtual learning, we're also going to ask that you uh, uh, maintain the digital citizenship that you've learned in your previous school years, probably from your computer teacher, but also from other teachers as well. So using your device and using your account that the district gives you, we want you to remember that you must be, use everything responsibly. And so uh, therefore we're using it, uh, all our device and our account for learning purposes only. We're uh, remembering what we're searching, what we're posting, what we're sharing. And uh, if you have questions or concerns, then you reach out to the appropriate responsible adult uh, before taking something on on your own. Um, and with that, uh, we wish you a the very best uh, start to the school year, uh, be it virtually, but we're looking uh, forward to a lot of fun and exciting lessons online with our uh, teachers and students. Thank you. Hi Hawks. All right, I'm here in the sixth grade hallway to talk to you a little bit more about our school motto and our theme for this year. So who remembers our school motto that Mr. Ferry just told us moments ago? Two parts, work hard and be kind. Mr. Ferry and I came up with that motto a little over six years ago when we started here at Hillside because we wanted a saying that really embodied what we expect out of our, our students, that we want them to work hard in everything that they do and then to be kind with everyone that they meet. We also have a theme each year, uh, a catchy saying or a phrase, sometimes it's funny, uh, sometimes motivating. We wanna try to make each year special for our students and our staff. And we've come up with some great ones over the years. This year is a particularly special one for us. And so we decided to do something we've never done before. We went back to our motto of work hard and be kind and we added a third element to it. So it's work hard, be kind, and stay strong. And what we mean by stay strong is staying not just physically strong, but mentally tough, okay, during your learning this year, okay, whether it be at home or whether it be at school. That, as always with learning, there are going to be obstacles. There are going to be times when you're learning something new, or asked to be do doing something that you've just never done before, or work with someone who you've never met. And we're going to ask you then not to give up, not to say right away, as a lot of us do sometimes, I can't, but say, I'm going to try, and I will. I'm going to get there, I just might not be there yet. That's what we mean by staying strong. Working hard, being kind, staying strong. This year, that's what it really means to be a Hillside Hawk. Bye.
So thank you, Hawks, for uh, learning more about Hillside with us. We hope you've learned some things, and we hope you are as excited for this school year as we are. Thank you for watching the video, Hawks. And we, once again, we look forward to um, your virtual class instruction beginning on September 8th. Remember to work, work hard, hard, be kind, and stay, stay strong. strong.